All right, my friends, did you take my advice and do Roth conversions when the market was getting hammered? I just read Fidelity said that uh, first quarter Roth conversions uh, 2020 were up 76% from last year. 76%, almost a doubling in Roth conversions in 2020. Uh, which is which is freaking awesome, man. Hopefully I had something to do with that a little bit Because remember back in February March I was saying do I've had videos go back You can look it up as uh, Warner Wolf used to say Warner Wolf. I think he had I'm not even sure he's still alive But I think he was getting Alzheimer's or something like that because he came pretty uh, Pretty antsy a pretty negative Nelly as he got old. That's for sure. Really just oof, too bad. I, I enjoyed him on a uh, W, I think he was on WUSA in D.C. where George Michael's Sports Machine was on WRC Channel 4. Either way, they were sports guys. But you can look it up. You can see me telling you to do Roth conversions. Hope you did it because Fidelity, like I said, has reported huge increases in Roth conversions. So think about it. You had 100000 bucks, And we're just going to use some simple numbers here because I'm a, I'm a simple guy. I'm just a caveman. Remember that SNL thing? All right, so now you had 100,000 bucks to start the year. At the March 20th, it was down to 65,000. You said, you know, I'm going to convert this 35% decline in four weeks' time. That's nuts. I'm going to convert this. We're not going bankrupt. I mean, there are still companies that are making money out there. So let me just go ahead and convert it. Uh, you converted that $65,000. Now it's back up to 90,000 bucks. So now you've made 25,000 tax free, completely tax flipping free. All right, now you can't touch that. You can always touch the principal. Um, well, I guess you did a conversion here. You can't even touch the principal because the whole thing was converted. It depends on how old you are. There's a lot, of, a lot going on with when you can access this. Uh, but for simplicity, if you're under the age of 59 and a half, you cannot touch you cannot touch anything without a 10% penalty, just FYI. There's, you can't touch the principal, you can't touch your gains without a, a taxes or a 50 or a 10% penalty. So it'd be taxes on your gains, a 10% penalty on your principal, all right? So just keep that in mind. If you're over 59 and a half, you can't touch your gains without taxes, uh, and, but you, don't, you can touch your principal without penalty, uh, simply because you already, and without taxes, because you already paid, um, the tax on it and you're over 59 and a half hope that makes sense a lot going on there but just remember 59 and a half under 59 and a half can't touch anything without something be a tax or a penalty over 59 and a half you can touch your principal without penalty and without taxes because you've already paid taxes on it when you did the conversion you can't touch your gains without taxes. Now you won't pay a penalty, but you will pay taxes on it. Just keep that in mind. So anyway, so now you're at 90,000 bucks. 25,000 was completely tax-free. Tax-free. <laughs> That's why you do your Roth conversions because you sit there and say, man, now if I get, let's just say 10% a year, that 65,000 in seven years will be worth 130,000 bucks of which uh, 130 minus 65, uh, 65, look at that. That, which the whole, uh, half the portfolio has grown tax-free. Hell, you're already at 90,000 bucks right now. You're already pretty significantly towards that. I hope you listen to me. I hope you listen to me. Every now and again, I come up with a little bit of a nugget, which is why you gotta come here every single day just to make sure while you go through some of the rambling, rambling you find those little golden nuggets and you say, that guy, Josh, he's all right. All right, we'll see you.